Hey there, my webcraft thing wizards. Do you want to see a magic trick? Check out, this is my uh, gym membership. Ready? You just squeeze it like that, and let's go! Wow, magic! Just like my dedication to the gym. Today, I have a really fun episode for you guys. We're going to create this awesome menu animation where it expands in a circular fashion and it reveals all the nav items behind it. It'll barely take any CSS and barely any code. I think you're really going to enjoy it, so let's get going. So I just created a project in Wix Studio. We are on a blank page here. And the first step that we're gonna do is just put some text on the screen here, because when we open up that nav, it's essentially gonna be another container expanding and covering up the rest of the page. So let's just go here and remove this nav bar here for now and expand the section down like that. Now let's go here to the left panel and add some text here to the screen. Let's name this navigation animations like that. And we'll take this and just expand it out like that. So it's on one line. I also copy paste this again and just bring it down to add kind of like a subtitle here. Let's just say create simple and clean animations using two, three lines of code. All right, so there we go. We got some text on the screen. One more thing I want to do is add this cool animation that I found. So if we head over to the embed here, we can do a Lottie animation. And let's just drag this in. If you want to change this as well, you can just head over here to change animation, change animation, and this is going to link you to Lottie. So here there's a bunch of ones that have been essentially made in After Effects. And then but let's just keep it like this so we have some text on the screen and some animations running. So if we hit the preview button here, you can see how this plays out. Perfect, that's lovely. So let's add our navigation up here. But the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna create a container first. And in that container, we're gonna add all the elements that want to be revealed, okay? Because we're gonna do some clip pathing magic. So let's just go over to the sections here, or actually let's do the quick add, and let's drag in this container. So I'm just gonna make this container much, much bigger like that. And let's also change the color of this. So we're gonna do dark. Perfect. I'm just going to expand this all the way like that. And I'm going to add my items within here. Okay, so keep, a, keep an eye here on your left panel to see if they get all stacked up together. But we could go here and maybe add a couple. So you'd have here like about us, you'd have our projects and portfolio. So let's do that. Our projects and portfolio like that. Let's expand this out. And we can actually increase the size of this to something like 48 pixels. Lovely. So now that we have that expanded, if we check in the side panel, as you can see, it belongs to that container now. So that's perfect. So I just copy this a couple of times and I'll add a couple of more nav items or whatever you want to add in here. So let's do one called about us. There we go. We'll do one called our work as well. Let's do our work and we'll do contact us as well. Let's just change this actually to just have portfolio in there. It'll look a bit nicer and sleeker. Let's also grab all of these and we are gonna go here to the top and we're gonna distribute the space vertically. So it's gonna be this last button here. And lovely, there we go. Now from here, it's up to you if you wanna just like increase the font sizes of this a little bit, maybe something like that, that looks pretty cool. Okay, and then let's just kind of bring it into the position we want this to be. I can even like, expand these out and then just grab them again and redistribute that vertical space. So let's do that and redistribute. Perfect. One more thing I want to do here is add like a cool line that goes like that. So for that, we can just go here to the quick add and drag in a line. I'll pick a color like orange for it, for example. And let's also increase this lining space. There we go. So I'll just bring this down. There we go. And make sure it kind of covers the length of the text here. So let's bring that down there and this a little bit more up. Lovely. Let's maybe also add an animation in here, for example. So let's go here to the embed social, and drag in another Lottie animation. So let's place this on the side. Let's see if we can find something related to this. Okay, so let's go through and look for some animations. So here we go. There's this one here. That looks pretty cool. It's like sending an email, but you also put your friend on it for some reason and wave him goodbye. He's not gonna make that. <laughs> He's just not gonna make that. Anyway, let's, oh, okay. This is a paid one. So we're gonna get out of here and pick a free one. So just avoid the crown symbol. Okay, this is a pretty cool one here. I found this by Azul. If you wanna download it, it's just a signature there, but the animation is quite nice. So let's hit download on this. 
Perfect, and all we need from here is just that link that we can link to Wix Studio. So if you go over to Handoff and Embed, you can turn this link on here. There we go, Enable Asset Link. And once you get that, you should be able to just copy over this O Embedded URL. So let's get this, copy it over, and we'll head back to Wix Studio and just paste it in here and click on, uh, you don't even need to click on Change Animation. There we go. So let's preview this and see if it loads up. And there we go, it's loaded up now. So let's expand this, make it any size we want. Let's just put it something like that. That's perfect. Lovely. So now the last thing we need to do is add a little button here that toggles this on and off. So for that, all we need to do is add a text here and we'll call this menu. So let's change the color to white so we can see this. And we'll lower the font to something really small, like 16 pixels. Okay, and we're gonna just say menu on this. Now this is gonna change depending if it's open or not, it's gonna change into an X or menu otherwise. So let's take this, I'll make it smaller like that. So it's on one line and we'll place it somewhere here, maybe like 3% three three down or 4% down and 8% eight, eight percent across, something like that. Okay, half, half, there, 8%, 4%, perfect. And that's that. So now we can jump into the code and create a little clip path around this whole section. So let's start adding a little bit of CSS. So to do that, we can just go here to this last code panel and hit start coding. And as you can see, that's gonna give us this little pop-up bar here where we can add JavaScript, we can add a global CSS. Let's just click on that. And then I can select anything on my page and add any classes I want to. So for example, if I select maybe the section, let's grab the section which has the black background to it. I can go here to custom class and add one. So I'll just say container. There we go. And now I can add my style. So I can say container. Let me just make a bit more space here so you can see what's going on. So in this container, essentially what I want to do is add a clip path to it. So I can define here a circle. That's how I want it to be clipped. And then I can define like how much I want it to be clipped. So 100% would give me that result. And the smaller you go, of course, the smaller your circle is going to get. So that's 50%. Here's 20%. There we go. And then 2% would be like super duper small. So let's do 2% like that. But essentially what I want to do is take that black dot and position it over where our menu text is. So to do that, I can also say at and then the position I want it to be. So 90% to the right of the screen. And then I can also say 10% from the top like that. I believe we chose different values for the menu and how we align that, but that's fine. Like we can go in here and just like reposition it. So here's the menu. See if we go here and find it, it's this H2 called text tree. And I can just slide it down so it's into view. And we can kind of position it anywhere I want. That text is still a bit too large. So let's lower this a tad bit so it just fits in there. Let's also add a Z index of 20 to this. So when we open it up, it's essentially it's gonna cover all of this text here, okay? Because you want the layer to come on top of it and not interfere with this. So that's why we add the Z index to 20 there. And one more thing we want is to just simply animate this. So we'll add an animate class and we'll add a clip path. And we essentially just wanna expand it all the way. So to be safe and to make sure it covers all of the page, we'll say 140%. The position here is gonna be the same, so we'll keep it the same. And then one more thing on this container that we're gonna need to add is gonna be a transition. So transition, we'll say all, and we'll say one second ease in and out, just like that. And again, make sure that this container is applied to this container box that we have here. Okay, and that's pretty much it. One more thing we need to do is trigger this animation. So to do that, let's go over to the home here. And as you can see, we have some JavaScript function here set up. So let's just grab the menu text here. So make sure you have this grabbed. And let's go down here. As you can see, that's text three. So what we can do is with this selected, you can just add an on click here and then click plus. There we go. And it adds a listener here for us ready to use. So I'm gonna select the element using the, the dollar sign W here. And I'll just pass in, let's see which box is this. I believe this is box one. There we go, which is 
this box here, right? That contains everything. So I'll select that box one and I'll say custom class list on this. And I'll say toggle the animate. And there we go. And then one more thing I want to do here is say if the box essentially contains the cl animate class already, I want this menu to change to an X symbol. So I'll say if, and I'll say dollar sign V W and I'll open this up and I'll select the box two again, sorry, box one. And I'll say dot custom class list dot contains and then the contains here I'm gonna pass in the animate again then I'll open up some curly brackets and I'll say if that's the case then grab the text which is gonna be our text tree so let's do text tree and we'll say dot text is gonna be equal to X like that and then here else I can say the same thing so I can just copy this over else I want to change this back to menu and there we go and that should be pretty much it so let's give this a shot let's hit preview let's close this up and there we go that's our main page here and when we click on the menu nothing happens let's see if we get any errors looks like we don't here, I think we just missed out a parentheses from here. So let's add the parentheses here at the end and let's give that another go. So let's hit play. Our animations are running. This looks beautiful. When we hit on the menu icon, let's see. Woo, look at that. Expand it all the way. And this changed to an X symbol as well. So we can undo that and that's going to close back up nicely like that. Now, one more thing I can do is when this is opened up, I can run some animations on the actual nav links as well. So to just make this easy, let's head to our global CSS. I'll bring this up to something like 100, just so it kind of reveals these as well. There we go, I can see them. And then I can just select each and go here to the lightning symbol. And I can do this on entrance. And this will only trigger when we actually click on the menu item. So let's do a slide. And we can do a slide from the bottom like that. That looks pretty cool. But I'll change these seconds here to something a bit lower. I found the default 1.2 looks a bit too, too slow. So I'll do 0 0.8 and I'll just repeat this for each one of them. And also, I'll do a little bit of delay between them. So for the second one, I'll do slide again. However, I'll change this to 0 0.8 for the time. But the delay here, I'll just add 0 0.1 here. And I'll do 0 0.2, 0 0.3 for the rest. So there we go. And finally, I'll also grab this line. And there's actually a good animation we can use for this to kind of just expand out. So on entrance, we could do a reveal like that. And that's perfect. I'll leave the default there. And I'll just do maybe a 0 0.25 or 3 for the delay. Okay, so let's change this back to 2% again. There we go. So now it's all hidden like that. We can close this up. And let's hit preview and see. There we go. Load it up, and uh, when we go to the menu and click on this, look at that, we get a nice expanding navigation. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please drop a subscribe and a like, and let me know if you want to see more like cool animations like this. I'll definitely do more. All right, see you in the next one.